Welcome to another episode of Daniel Reviews. I'm Daniel Goodwin, and today we are looking at an AC-DC switching power supply. Let's get into it. In past videos, I've talked about different ways that you can power your Delta Pro with an external battery bank. Um, one is by directly connecting the battery bank to the Delta Pro with a um, you know XT60i cable, and you should get a pro. Uh, an input rate of 750 to 800 watts. I've talked about a couple of various DC to DC boost converters. Uh, I'll admit I wasn't super comfortable with those and I didn't find that they worked uh, in a very reliable way and, and I wasn't sure that it wouldn't just melt down <laughs> at some point. So I didn't, I, I used it to show that it is possible. I, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, at least not the models that I tried. There might be better models out there that would work. So uh, I thought of yet another way that you could power your Delta Pro from an external battery bank. And that's where I came up with this video. This is an AC to DC uh, switch switching power supply. Um, it literally does what it sounds like. It takes 110 volt AC input and outputs it at, I don't know if this will show, but it outputs it at 80 volts DC, 18 amps. And if you do the math, 18 amps times 80 volts, you get a power supply of 1500 watts. <clears throat> I'm going to use this, or at least I hope I am, to uh, take power from my external battery bank and and plow it into the Delta Pro. How am I going to do that? Well, I'll show you. So I don't know that this will work, but I'm hopeful. I have three main questions that I want to see answered. One, does it actually work? Can I get it to work where it plows power into the Delta Pro from my external battery bank? That's number one. Number two, is it safe? <laughs> Always a good question. I feel like with this model, It'll be much safer than anything I tried on the DC to DC boost converters. Uh, it just feels very, very solid, um, very well cooled. A lot of, uh, you know, just, I feel much more comfortable with this model. Um, so I'm, I'm excited about that. And the third is, will it work automatically? And by that, I mean, once I run down my external battery bank, if I, um, you know, don't have enough capacity to feed into the Delta Pro, will it shut off? And then when, uh, I have solar or other power coming in through the controller to charge back up the battery bank. Will that AC inverter kick on? Will this start to draw from it and start feeding in the, the Delta Pro automatically? Or is there some manual involvement required? That's the, the big question. Eh? I'll just give a quick overview of the model. It is um, obviously fully enclosed all the way. Uh, and it feels very sturdy in hand. It, it's solid uh, metal case feel much more comfortable with this than anything I used on the Delta or on the DC DC side. You got two cooling fans here. Um, it just, it feels like it just feels well constructed. Uh, on the, this side, you've got all your, your inputs. They're not particularly well marked. I don't, I don't believe I can see if I can get this in there where it might focus. Um, but you got your ground here. You got your load and your neutral for your input from the 110. Then over here is your output. Um, and I, I personally do not like the, this says GND. Um, <laughs> to me, I would think that means ground. Um, it doesn't, uh, that is for your, for your uh, well, I guess I'd call it the neutral. Um, it's the negative. And this is of course the positive, right? Um, so I, I just wish I would have seen a, a, a negative sign here instead of GND. That doesn't mean anything to me. Fortunately, uh, so a couple things. One is um, out of the box, it does not come with a manual whatsoever. You get no documentation. So that's not good. But on the Amazon description, it does have a picture where they have, someone has labeled what these are and that is extremely helpful. I suggest you reference that if you do get one. Apart from that, it's got this label here that kind of tells you what it's doing. It's got 80 volt DC and 18 amps and it's taking in 110 uh, AC uh, to convert that in, uh, which is a total of 1500 watts. I add, sorry, uh, let me clarify. It doesn't come with these cables, doesn't come with anything. It just comes with the box. I added this. This is an XT60 um, male plug. 
I just added that here for, to make it easy to connect and disconnect by plugging that in and out. And then I took a, actually this is a Delta Pro AC input cable, very solid gauge, plug it in. It's, it's, it, this is what they look like. Um, I had several extras that I just don't use because I use DC entirely in the Echo Flow Infinity cables. Um, so I just don't use these and I cut this and obviously use the ground, the uh, load and, and, and neutral wire here. So this is how it works. The power comes in through here, comes out through there. Pretty simple. In my last video, I, I had a Renogy 60 uh, amp charge controller. I upgraded, if you will, to an EG4 all-in-one unit. So this does, uh, not only does it charge up the battery bank, it also has with it a AC inverter, a 3000 watt inverter. Um, that comes out of it and uh, just for demonstration purposes I'll scroll down here. You can see I've got a surge protector there uh, That I've connected to it um, just so that I could plug in and get output So it's a little more fully featured than the Renogy. The Renogy was really just a controller just charged the batteries from solar and that was Pretty much all it did. This one has an AC inverter in it and um, has better specs I know this is a little bit messy here, so uh, I, I do intend to clean this all up and get these cables a little cleaner at some point, but um, for now this will work. So I've got my AC to DC power supply here. I've got my cable running over here. I'll plug that in in a second. And then I've got this, um, well, let me see if, if I can zoom in a little bit. So here's my, again, my AC input cable. I'm going to plug it into that surge protector in a second. And this is my uh, DC output from the surge or from the, the power supply. I already have a cable over here that I've run to make it easy to switch to my Delta Pro. That's a female XT60 connector. And I'm just going to connect it to this. And then I'm going to plug in this power supply and see what happens. There's a little light here that I think is going to tell us when I plug this in whether this is going to work or not. If that little light lights up, then we're probably in business. There it is. Little, the little lights twinkling, Clark. And look at that. Delta Pro is drawing from the external battery bank at 12, uh, 1228, we'll call it watts. That is all coming from that power supply. None of it's, this is input of course, none of it's coming out of the batteries because it's already down to 2%. So it is running off of the external battery bank. That's good. That's what we wanted. Very good. Well, good news. We've proved that it works. So the first question is, can it power or input power into the Delta Pro? That is a solid yes. Second question and the third question we're still evaluating. Uh, second question being, is it safe and reliable? I think it is. I want to watch. I want to see how hot it gets um, after extensive loads. I want to see if I can run it for a full day um, with, with uh, well, not day. I want to run it for months, right? But uh, for a long period of time with solar input coming in through the EG4 controller into the battery bank and out through that power supply into the Delta Pro. So that's going to be the next major test, and um, I will update on that. But first, I, I just wanted to emphasize, or wanted to get this out there to let you know that there are some options. Uh, I, I need to call out some of the downsides to this approach, because I'll be the first to admit, this is not a particularly efficient way of charging the Delta Pro. Essentially, we're taking DC solar input to the um, external battery bank, we're converting it to AC, and then we're converting from AC back to DC again to go into the Delta Pro. So clearly there's some, there's some loss there, some wastage. Um, and so it's definitely not the most efficient way to get power into your Delta Pro. Does it still make sense? Yeah, it does still make sense. Uh, and where it makes sense is if you've got excess solar capacity or solar uh, production, which I do, um, 
I've got more than I can feed into my Delta Pro. The Delta Pro's cap out at 1600 watts. I've got an array that can do 2500, right? Um, so with that, even with the loss that I'm generating from converting from AC to AC to DC, um, it, I, I, that overwhelms that, right, in the long run. So it still makes sense for me, it's just not particularly efficient. One thing I wanted to point out that um, I it didn't show it in the video, but it did happen, and it, it, obviously as I thought about it, I should have should have known it was gonna happen, but it, it, I didn't think about it. Um, you notice I had uh, the surge protector connected to the EG4 uh, all-in-one inverter. Well, it's a fairly lightweight surge protector. I just one that I had sitting around that I connected up to the, the, um, the inverter. And uh, I was using the switching supply and it's all of a sudden it cut off. I'm like, great, uh, another, you know, cheap power supply that it, you know, didn't last. And I realized it tripped the, the surge protection uh, switch on the, <laughs> on the uh, little surge protector. So I'm, I, I realized that when you're drawing 1250 to 1500 watts, you need a, a surge protector that's rated for 12, you know, 1200, 1500 watts. So I did order a uh, replacement surge protector that I'm gonna hook up to the, um, to the EG4. And once I have that in place, I think I'll have the correct ecosystem to monitor consistent flow from the external battery bank into the Delta Pro. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. I wanna thank you for watching as always. Hopefully you found it at least interesting, if not informative. I've got a few more videos coming, lots more on the Delta Pro, and I'd like to encourage you to click the subscribe button, and it, hel it helps me out, to be honest, it does. And uh, uh, until we meet again, take good care of yourself.